Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I want to play a little bit with the universal programming cable for uh, well, all these Bofeng devices, Anytone, Retevis, well, a lot of names, uh, the CRT, TYI, well, the, a lot of these Chinese brands. They are very nice radios, very affordable. Uh, I already showed you from uh, Retevis this one. I was impressed that this uh, European uh, approved and uh, well, I forgot already the name of this one. It doesn't say it on the on the device. The RA685 and uh, Retevis was so kind to send me a programming cable. So I was able to program it with the Retevis software and also with uh, a chirp. And uh, well, chirp is cool because it is also universal programming and it has a lot of radios inside, a lot of brands and very, very full list of devices that you can program with that for the, at least for the memory channels and sometimes even more depending on the compatibility. But these guys are working on it more and more and more and more radios are coming and more options are coming. So I have a cable for this one, so that was okay. Then. I was recently sent also from Retevis and I will still make a video uh, for that. It is here a nice mobile set dual bender. And uh, this is the RT95, also European approved. I think 25 watts, 2 meters, 70 centimeters. And it is uh, for the hand dance. So, but it needs a different programming cable because I think you need to program it uh, in the front. Um, with the microphone uh, plug. Retevis was again so kind to also send me a programming uh, cable. Uh, I think you might think, oh, it looks also so like a, what is it, TRC or like an Anytone, and you probably could be right. But it's a different cable again. And now I also have, this is not mine, this is from a friend of mine, this is a Boofeng. And it is the UV5R, and you need to program this in your microphone plug. So it's a double plug here. Yeah. Well, I don't think you can see, it, but it is two. It's a, 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 I think a two and a half and a three and a half plug. And here is another boofing. This is the. I don't even know what type it is. It was in discount. So I bought it. It was very cheap. Uh, I don't see the type number again, but also dual bond and it is also programmed through the microphone and speaker cable. I might even be the same as the other boofing. So that means at least I should have three different cables. And I thought, okay, I can probably find it on AliExpress. But then I have a bunch of these cables and maybe there is a more easy solution. And I found this one. It has a very long USB cable, which is very nice. And then it has ooh, a bunch of plugs. So let's have a closer look. So here we have it. And it is just a a USB and it will recognize it as a, as a COM port like the old fashioned so it's probably just a converter in, in there but what is the nice thing that is here let me zoom in the nice thing is here we have the microphone plug and we have two of these but maybe they are wired they are probably wired differently so if one doesn't work you just try the other one then the same for the bow thing here. You need a speaker microphone, but maybe if the pins are further apart, then you just use the other one. So we also have two of these. We just uh, test those. And we also have these. I think I have, have seen those also in those uh, CB radios, these plugs. And maybe you can even combine half this one and this one or the different, the distance is different or so we are just gonna plug it in and see which one we need. So here I have that bowfing radio, 
the UV 5R and if I remember correct you need to program that through here so this plug clearly doesn't fit so we need the other double one and that is this one and it it does fit oh, we need to push it probably a little bit further yeah now it's stuck so that is cool we can program that then I have here this one same perfect and what about the other tevis? I don't remember I had the official cable so that one would absolutely work but maybe also this cable works it does look a lot nicer it does fit okay this one well this one fits and this one fits so we just need to see which one we need to use and that is just if it communicates or not so let's go to the computer so we are at the computer uh, it did come with a little cd but i'm not sure we need it because i have tried so many of these cables so it will probably just if i plug it in it will probably just work so let me open the device and manage it then we can see what happens so device manager com ports here we see a bunch of ports already so let me just plug it in and see what number it will assign here we have it already okay i didn't so it's two or five so let me plug this out again okay it was number five okay good so we have them all here remember it's com5 so start our sherp i will leave a link for this because this is great software because it just have any radio so if i just say download from the radio always read first and we need to switch this to com5 and what radio are we going to do let's start with the bowfang and it was the uv5r i think yeah uv5r so this one 2.5 okie dokie good turn off the radio connect the speaker microphone thingy so i have that here so all the others we don't need i plug it in seems to be plugged in turn the radio on the radio is on okay yes the cable works <laughs> cool so this universal cable is great at least it yeah it downloads all the channels there were already a few, few channels in so let me see i think there is a possibility i want to program this one for a marine so i thought that there was open stock config marine frequencies okay can I somehow import this or copy this? Can I just do this? And then just put it in? Or is it not that simple? Well, maybe first I need to delete all these channels here. Can I say delete these memories? Yeah. Okay, memory's gone. Perfect. Then I want here channel 1. No, channel 1 all the way to 80 c88 so if i say copy and i just put it in can i just paste yes okay perfect all the frequencies are here that was fast 
settings. Okay, yeah, basic settings, carrier squirrels, battery, frequency, and we just upload that to the radio. So I think my uh, friend will be happy. I program it now for uh, Marine. So the Marine channels in there, I program it this uh, C1 to C very uh, high. Uh, and it was just in the in the chirp program. So that was easy, just program it in. Program a little welcome message in the screen. And uh, I disable transmitting on the 70 centimeters because he's only going to use it on the boat. So, and uh, frequency limits I put between uh, 155 and 165 megahertz, uh, I think. So, uh, he doesn't by accident start transmitting on the ham uh, frequencies. So, now it's uh, perfectly usable for, uh, for his marine work. Okay, let's try the other uh, Retefes, the, the, the base model, the RT95 right here, this one. And we need the uh, RJ45, I've got two of those. So, uh, well, I just tried the first one. Good, so we plug it in. Switch it on. Uh, switch it on. Here we go. Let's start programming software. We start to download from the radio first. It is an uh, red if it's I think it was a T95. Okay, it's still experimental, but well, let's see if we can read. Okay, it did not respond, so we try the other cable. Switch off the radio. Get the other cable in. Switch it back on. Let's try again. No, no response from the radio. Maybe I need to put it in some sort of programming mode. I have not read anything. Okay, I tried bo both uh, RJ45s uh, and it didn't work. So I'm now plugging in the original cable that uh, Retef has sent to me. And download the radio. 95 it is. And, oh, I need to, of course, select the correct COM port 5, okay, it is COM 5, it is in the radio, hey, no, same response as before, let me switch it off. Yes, and there it goes. It goes to PC. Oh. It, oh, I have a more luxurious model than I thought. It says, well, we detected it is a Fox model. Oh, okay. Apparently it is Fox built in right now. So I need to do this one. And there it goes. PC mode. It says reading. Oh, but a short circuit. And here it goes. It's not very fast, but it is loading. So this universal cable is nice. It has a lot of connectors, but right now I was only to able to test it with uh, with the bow things. Uh, COM5, let me get that plug, the same one as the Boofangs, switch it on, 
the radio, download from the radio, then I need COM5, now I need, oh, I need every TV still, that is good, only it was a 685 I think, Basin, this one, it is switched on, let's see, yeah, now it works. Okay, so this universal ca cable does work with the Tevis, only not with that uh, with that model. So probably there are wires different that it thinks that the radio does not respond. Well, I have this other bow thing. I think it is an S9, and uh, so let's try that universal cable again. And. Yeah, I, I needed to select here another one, because if I went to the help page, because it is an S9, the normal one, so they say here you need to do the FB, F8 HP, so I selected here the number, because the S9 is not available, but when I do that, it uh, works. So this cable worked perfectly for the bow thing, yeah, and I cannot really test it on other devices. So that was a quick test with the universal cable. I will leave the link down below. But uh, I, I like by the way that the USB is very long. It was immediately detected also by uh, Windows 10. I didn't even need to uh, use the to the CD. I didn't even look what was on it because yeah, what's the use? It worked on all my bow things and even on the Retevis. The only thing was that uh, my dual under here, the T95, uh, did not work. It works with these uh, RJ45s, and I'm not sure if it is a production error or just these are just differently connected. And I can use it maybe for these cam woods. I have one, so at least I have uh, all kinds of cables now to try to program, and it seems to work. Um, the Retevis, by the way, work perfect with its uh, own cable, so probably there should be another combination <laughs> of plugs here. So, I hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.